Hi all, today's topic is beta gamma function. So what do you mean by beta gamma function means? So the beta function is nothing but, so this is our formula, beta of m comma n, where integral 0 to 1, x power m minus 1, 1 minus x the whole power n minus 1 dx, where m and n should be greater than or equal to 0. There are so many set of formula. When it is sine and cos, when it is given in the question to be sine and cos, we have to follow this. This we will be repeatedly to find any beta function. For example, beta of p plus 1 divided by 2, comma q plus 1 divided by 2 is nothing but 2 times of integral 0 to pi by 2 sine px cos qx. When you interchange also, it's the same thing only. For example, cos px sin qx dx also same formula no change in the formula where p and q is greater than or greater than minus 1 it should be more than minus 1 then we can write this format gamma function is nothing but gamma of n is nothing but integral 0 to infinity everything pi means it is a respect to beta function when it is 0 to infinity term e to the power minus x x power n minus 1 dx where x should be greater than 0 then gamma of n plus 1 is nothing but n into gamma n is nothing but n factorial so n plus 1 the next term n plus 1 means previous term is a factorial okay like that you can remember gamma of half is nothing but root pi gamma of n if it is nth term is given means gamma of n plus 1 divided by n you have to divide it in that case you have to divide it when I am able to write plus 1 term means use this. I am not able to write a plus 1. I have only n means you have to use this. Come of n plus 1 divided by n. Some set of uh, formulas. It's like a small question only. For example, the first question. Gamma of, uh, this is gamma. Gamma will be denoting like this. Okay. Beta like this beta symbol. Okay. Gamma of 7. 7 if they ask means this. Okay. 6 plus 1 I can write. 6 plus 1 means it's nothing but n factorial. n factorial n it's nothing but 6. So 6 factorial. So 5 when I write 5 plus 1. Okay. So 5 plus 1. So it's nothing but 4 factorial. Okay. Gamma of uh, uh, 5 by 2. 5 by 2 how can I write? 3 by 2 plus 1 I can write. So 3 by 2 plus 1. So, it's nothing but n plus 1. It's nothing but n into gamma n. So, n into n into gamma n. So, that only I have written. This is n. So, 3 by 2 into gamma n. Again, ga this gamma. Again, gamma 3 by 2. Again, it is written in this set of formula. So, n into. So, uh, 3 by 2, it can be written as gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 only 3 by 2. So, it's nothing but 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. So, that way only it's written. Gamma of 1 by 2 is nothing but root pi. So, the overall answer, it should go like that only. So, this is the same. Same way, gamma of 9 by 2 is nothing but gamma of 7 by 2 plus 1. So, so how you can write me 7 by 2, 5 by 2, 3 by 2. Next will be gamma of 1 by 2. Gamma of 1 by 2 is nothing but root pi. So simplify this, you get one answer. That answer you need to write. Next will be gamma of negative. So gamma of minus 1 by 2 is nothing but when you have this, I am not able to write it with respect to plus 1. So, like this term, I am not able to write. Plus 1 term, I cannot write it when I have a negative. So for this case, what I can use means I can use this set of formula. So, gamma n is given in the question. How can I write gamma of n plus 1 divided by n? So, minus 1 plus 1 divided by n. So, minus half. So, calculate this. Simplify is gamma of half. Gamma of half is nothing but root pi. Minus 1 by 2 when it comes to the numerator minus 2. So, this is the way you have to calculate it. So, next will be beta function. So, beta function they may ask the question to be beta of any number. So, 3 comma 5. So, beta of any number means there is a relation between beta and gamma function. This is our relation. Beta of m comma n is nothing but gamma of m, gamma of n divided by gamma of m plus n. So, this only we have to link. So, beta of 3 comma 5 is nothing but 
gamma of 3 plus gamma of 5 divided by gamma of 3 plus 5. So, gamma of 3 is nothing but uh, we can write it 2 plus 1, 3. So, so, 2 factorial. 5, we can write it at 4 plus 1. So, 4 factorial. So, it's 8. 8 is nothing but 7 factorial. So, simplify this in the calculator. 1 divided by 1, 0, 5. So, same way, beat of 3 by 2, comma 2. And it is like this fraction plus uh, one integer number. So, how do I have to write? Same format. Gamma of 3 by 2, gamma of 2 divided by gamma of 3 by 2 plus 2. So, 3 by 2 plus 2 means 4, 3, 7, 7 by 2. 7 by 2 I have. Okay, 7 by 2, gamma of 7 by 2, I will write it here. Gamma of 7 by 2, how can I write it? It's nothing but, so how I have to write it means, so see here. 9 by 2 means after this value only you have to write. Because you remember 7 by 2 some may write. 7 by 2 how can I write? 5 by 2 plus 1 only 7 by 2. So how can I write? 5 by 2 into. Okay. Again when you write. Okay. Gamma of 5 by 2 I have written. Again gamma of 5 by 2. Okay. Again 5 by 2 I have to write it separate. 5 by 2, how can I write? Gamma of 3 by 2 plus 1 only 5 by 2. So, so 3 by 2 into gamma of 3 by 2. Again, 3 by 2, gamma of 3 by 2, how can I write? Gamma of, so 1 by 2 plus 1 only 3 by 2. So, it's nothing but 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2. So, everything substitutes like a chain root. So, now, gamma of 7 by 2, how can I write? Check 5 by 2, comma 5 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 2, comma 3 by 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 into gamma of half. Okay, so that only I have written here. Okay, this is the way we have to delete. Gamma of 3 by 2, same way. Gamma of 3 by 2 already we have written 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi. So, gamma of uh, only integer means it's a uh, uh, 1 plus 1. So, it's nothing but 1 factorial. So, simplify this, you get the answer. Next question, 8th question. So, 8th question you check. So, now 0 to 1, x power 4, 1 minus x to whole cube dx. When it is given like this means, it's like a which formula? Uh, I will show you the formula x power 4 1 minus x where you study see here x power 4 1 minus x this format is a beta definition this is beta definition beta definition formula is given in that format so and then how we have to use it so, x power n minus 1 m and n we know then we can do it so it's nothing but so it's uh, so everything minus 1 so 4 minus 1 so so it is nothing but everything minus 1 in the question means add 1 and write beta of so 5 4 plus 1 5 so 3 plus 1 4 so beta of 5 comma 4 you have to write beta of 5 comma 4 using the relation you need to calculate it gamma of 5 comma 4 divided by gamma of 5 plus 4 it's nothing but 5 plus 4 9 gamma 9 so, gamma 9 is nothing but gamma of 8 plus 1. So, it's nothing but 8 factorial. So, that is why it's 8 factorial. So, you may gamma of 5 is nothing but gamma of 4 plus 1. So, it's nothing but 4 factorial. Okay. So, we 1 by 280. Same way, ninth question. In equal 0 to pi by 2 sin 6 theta d theta. If it is given like this, sine terms or cos terms, means you have to use the relation. This formula only you have to use it. Combination also the same. Or individual sin theta cos theta also it is the same formula. So now check in this question. Sin p, uh, p theta plus cos q theta d theta integral 0 to pi by 2 2 times. So it's nothing but 2 I don't have here. So 1 by 2 times of beta of p plus 1 divided by 2 comma q plus 1 divided by 2 so that is the formula so 1 by 2 now p and q we should know so it's p is nothing but whatever the question given 6 q it's not given in the question so q 0 p 6 q 0 substitute in this 
So 1 by 2 V dot 7 by 2 comma 1 by 2 re, read the relation. So gamma of 7 by 2, gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi. So gamma of 4, 4, gamma of 4 is nothing but 3 factorial. Gamma of 4 is nothing but 3 factorial. So, gamma of 7 by 2, you have to write the relation. Simplify it, you get the answer. They may cos 4 theta d theta, but 0 to pi. So, when I have pi means I should change to pi by 2, only the formula applies. 2 times of 0 to pi by 2 cos 4 theta d theta. So, 2 times of this formula. So, gamma beta of 1 by 2 comma 5 by 2. So, apply the formula, you get the answer. So, this is the way we have to do it. Gamma beta function. Thank you.